Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome to the first exciting video in 2021. And since this is the first video, I'm posting this on 1st January. I'll start by wishing you all a happy new year. And thank you, assuming that some of you will wish back. Well, 2020 is just over and I won't say it was a very good year because we got coronavirus and now Corona got an update. Although Corona is still here. But one thing that I know for sure is that tech industry will play a major role in this pandemic and even when this is over, it is going to play a lot more role in that. So in this video, we are going to talk about the top tech trends in 2021. We will talk about the top, top programming languages that you should learn in 2021 either as a beginner or we have a separate, separate category for those people who are uh, already developing. The first thing, the first big thing that I think going to win 2021 is the use of Flutter. Flutter, as we know, it's Google UI framework and it's actually going to be big in 2021. You can obviously learn Flutter and build apps in record time. But again, remember Flutter 2 has its own limitation. Also, there are a lot of drawbacks of using Flutter for your app. Yet, I'm pretty sure that Flutter is going to be big. Also, Flutter plus Firebase or any other serverless architecture like AWS Amplify and all will be dominating small and medium businesses and even startups as Using these technologies, you can actually cut the cost of development as well as put your app out in record time. The next thing that could be big in 2021 is progressive web apps, also known as PWAs. Now, PWAs have got many features over the year. Like now you can directly deploy a PWA on Play Store. You have background sync, you have offline mode. You can even use Android device hardware just as your native app does. Yet, although the technology is here, it won't be easy to replace native apps over the time. As an Android OS developer, you shouldn't worry about your job going away because of PWAs. Serverless, again, is going to be one big thing in 2021. Although, quite contrary to the term, which is serverless, serverless servers are actually used even in serverless architecture. The only thing here to remember is that you don't have to maintain those servers. With AWS, Lambdas, Google Cloud Functions, Firebase, and even Microsoft Azure Functions, and with even databases like Cloud Firestore, FaunaDB, and you can even use MongoDB Cloud and MongoDB Realm, you can actually use them to create your complete apps and websites without having to worry about the server, without having to worry about handling the servers. Now, let's skip quickly to the topic where we'll talk about top programming languages that beginners can learn or existing developers can learn. Now for beginners, if you are trying to start with programming and if you are trying to start with JavaScript and TypeScript, you won't be wrong at all. JavaScript is actually right now the most in-demand technology, the most used programming language, not technology. And with Dino.js coming out, which can directly compile TypeScript, you can even learn TypeScript. If you don't want to use JavaScript or TypeScript, then you can again start with Python. This too has its own multiple implementations. You can use it for machine learning, artificial intelligence, backend development, even for developing system apps. Although developing system apps using Python ain't very preferred in enterprise, yet Python is not going anywhere. The third programming language that as a beginner you could learn is C++ or Java, although I will suggest you to learn C++. The reason is very simple. Most of the students in college want to get started with a programming language, then learn data structure, algorithms, do code, coding competitions, and then basically become a competitive coder, then get us about an MNC, and then they learn technology which are being used in that MNC, and then they work here. Now, if you're already developing, if you're already working as a developer, if you want to learn something new in 2021, there are three programming languages that you can try out and trust me, you are going to love them. The first one is Rust. Now, Rust right now is the most loved uh, programming language or technology in 2020. It is being used widely. If you're trying to learn Rust, then you'll be good to go. Rust can do a lot more. It's an amazing programming language and also it kind of solves one problem in C++ that was a dependency issue. So just like uh, Python and JavaScript, you can just use Cargo, I think, and then you can easily install and run your code with many dependencies. The next thing is Golang, obviously, which is from Google. We usually call it at the Go programming language. And this programming language too was once speculated as the one which is going to be in the top place, although it kind of shrinked back to its normal positions yet it is uh, one of the widely used programming languages in certain domains and if you want to learn go in 2021 you will be good to go the third programming language right here that i want to talk about is dart programming language and before you think that i'm talking about learning flutter no it's not actually with flutter being used in mobile apps there will be a lot more 
uses of dart programming language also flutter can be used to create websites as well as desktop applications so again dart can be used in a lot more places but yeah that's pretty much it from my side in this video